And the future is now new. Oh yeah. Oh, is this time travel? I like time oh, travel. Gosh, that'd be dope. Submitted by Minority Report. Oh, oh yes, one of my favorite movies. Bluetooth. You know what else is Minority Report? When I get the police brutality and I call somebody <laughs> and to help me. <laughs> that is a Minority Report. That's a report. Minority Report. <laughs> An AI software claims it can catch shoplifters before they steal. That's a Minority Report. Mm. Damn, just based off like behavioral patterns, looking around. But what around if a cog? What if a co they fuck with one of the cogs? You guys haven't watched Minority Report? I forgot. It's been years ago. It's been a while, dude. Definitely. What was it like? 1998. The cogs are the per are the the girls that can see the In the water, the right? Yeah, and then they alter their. That's what they called it. Good ass memory, dude. I really like that movie. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a video clip. This is a Chinese company that create a uh, sorry Japanese tech company that created this artificial intelligence. Not the software. same, Tiff. That's why I corrected myself. I know, but you said it as if all Asians are the that's same. That's pretty racist. Yeah, that's I what heard I thought. It. That's what I thought. As, as I corrected I said, myself. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I'm not Indian, okay? There's different types of Asians. I feel like this is plausible just because like, if they if they have a, if like when people walk into a store and they have a bag and they detect the bag and the person's face and then when the person goes in, like if an item, if like you can track an item going into that thing that already existed. Yeah, let me show you guys a video clip. Oh. This is in Japan? J Japanese tech company developed it. Trying to catch Chinese dealers. Makai! <laughs> <laughs> So this is what it looks like. They're profiling, like that, they're profiling that black lady? Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I thought okay. it was just- So it says like it suspicion level, the... it says the action, they're looking, they're picking up an item. She's white, I think she's age. safe. <laughs> How did they get her age? I don't know. Funny. Estimation? Could be his Stupid! You don't need a fucking black technology hoodie. to see yeah, this Look hole. at that guy, dude. Suspicious as fuck. Damn. Wow. That's dope. You might as well just put a guy in a train track villain suit. Yeah, I mean, it's like, we already know he's the bad guy. The <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess this is so shop workers don't have to, like, they, you know, they can profile actually work. Profile themselves. And profile. <laughs> but they're also saying, like, you know, this would help shop workers or, like, shop owners so they don't have to fully focus on every individual that comes into their mm -hmm. shop because this, this AI is already doing it for them. And they'll alert the person, the shop owner, and tell them like, hey, you know, this person is stealing right now in this moment. Like there's a 96% chance that they're they're suspicious or whatever because they actually saw them track the item and put it into their oh, person. Oh, watching people waiting for them to steal is so fucking exhausting, dude. Having to do that shit at my parents' store was so fucking <laughs> annoying, do dude. Do because we always have to look at them and it's like, it's just, when you give somebody the opportunity to steal something, especially in like a poor area, everybody's just gonna steal. Like, it's not really a race thing, it's like a money thing. Like, you're broke. You know, and people just want to have stuff that they can't have right now. Yeah. And it was so exhausting, too. And I mentioned the story before where my dad said, well, I used to think that he was just, you know, being a little racist and shit. And my dad's like, well, you run the store then. You run the store, let me see whatever happens. Dude, we had so much shit stolen. Did you guys ever think about like just putting that thing under every product and then if they walk out, it goes. That sounds beep. expensive. It's expensive. No. It's expensive. Cause now it's you have expensive. to get the things in, installed and they're mom and pop. Yeah. Imagine exactly. having to do that shit at Barbell, that's way too expensive. Yeah, and it was just like, when I, I that was like the biggest lesson that I had and my dad was like, it's not that I'm like profiling people or anything, he's just like. That's keep... funny you thought he was profiling when there's only one, one race yeah, exactly. that buys. <laughs> Exactly, so I was kind of dumb, and my dad was like, you're just giving people an opportunity to steal stuff. So it doesn't matter who they are. So I was like, oh shit, and like, hella shit got stolen. And that was my bad. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't really think about that shit. That's so I think so that people funny. will just naturally steal shit when they just can. I mean, yeah. that's even true for employees, right? Like, yeah. And accounting always has like a certain set amount set aside, because they know that theft is just gonna happen no matter what. I hate staring at people, but it deters them. If you look at them. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit. I don't know, I'm just gonna say it. This looks like a Kickstarter advertisement and it doesn't work. It's too good to be true. I bet it looks I nothing like that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like real janky. It's super janky. What if they go like facial recognition and they're like, Mexican, 80%. 
be eighty percent likely to steal. <laughs> I mean, if it was like, if it's it like hella racial profiling, actual identification that was able to like pull up like your record or something, and it was like, oh, you've been arrested for stealing before. Oh, like that. the minority report report where you have to like scan your eyeballs or something. Isn't that a thing? Oh, the retinal scan or something. Then he has to yeah. cover his eyes. Well, they, yeah, they scan it because the, your ID. It's basically your thumbprint yeah. is in your eyes. So you then know? at that point they could pull up your record. If it was yeah, you that. Know what I heard is like really fucking good at this. Vegas because mm. so oh. there's this thing called the black book in Vegas, right? And it's a um, It's a band from casinos list from cheats car counters um, People that are yeah, they've been banned from casinos and then they all share it all the casinos share it So then when someone comes in that's a part of that black book and they sit down and they want to start gambling Sometimes they'll get to the table, but a lot of the times they'll get intercepted immediately as they walk in because they have facial recognition and then it's like that guy's here and then the security alerts the people on the floor and they'll be like go stop them right now they yeah. crazy yeah casinos are little countries dude i feel like casinos <laughs> and <laughs> casinos, casinos might be even more better than airports because casinos are. are like banks and fortresses yeah at yeah I would love and airports. Castles then. Castles, yeah, yeah, and airports at the same time. Mm. My my dad used to work at Commerce Casino. He's retired now, but he's seen like dealers that have like embezzled or whatever, and then the security just come. It's almost like their own police force. Two guys come, just pick them up, and their feet are just dangling in the air, and they purposely embarrass them and drag them out. And then uh, when they're under the house security's custody. He's seen people like get their ass beat and all that, and then they they kind of have their own special jurisdiction up until the police come, and it, and then they're almost more grateful that the police came because now there's actual laws in place. Are you serious? That's yeah. hella mafia. Hell yeah, oh. they're gangster as fuck. Yeah, they don't like want to fuck with their money. I feel like they protect the casinos more than the city because I lived in Vegas for almost a year and I I don't recall seeing a police car. Like, really? They probably don't yeah, even need I it. I really don't. And like when you think about it, I feel like there should be. Hundreds of police cars probably patrolling the interstate looking for drunk drivers because God knows they're out there and like yeah. You know also I used to I used to live with a girl that would drink a lot and like she would drive She would sometimes pick me up from work and stuff like that. She would be wasted I mean this girl was driving drunk Whoa. five days a week literally. That's another reason you I got in her car Yeah, eventually my car broke down and I was always riding with her, but I was 21. I was like eh, whatever who cares You know, but like <laughs> <laughs> You always had a furball caught in your throat? Dude, I, yeah, I was like always like a little nervous, but like I remember thinking all the time, I'm like, I cannot believe she drives drunk every single day and doesn't get caught. But it's Vegas, baby. Well, and eventually she did, but it wasn't until she hit a car. And so I'm like, y'all need to be out on the road looking for these people every day because yeah. they, they're they they're driving. I didn't know that in Macau, they fr you're not allowed to drink in the casinos or something. Oh, really? Like, Do you know? You I've never been there. You can't drink and gamble. Really? Like I it's, don't know. It's like I've been there, but I didn't try gambling. But isn't alcohol and gambling like it makes yeah, you? Yeah, so they want you to gamble responsibly. That's so nice. Yeah, That's beautiful. That's Macau, dumb, dude. Macau is like gang ran too. Yeah. So it's it's like different rules. So they want you to do it responsibly or some shit. I could be wrong, but then Abe he went to Macau recently. Oh. So he said like you. I want to gamble like a madman. Vegas yeah. used to be gang ran, but not anymore. It's corporate ran. That's another kind of gang. You know, yeah. At Vegas, when you are, if you if you win big, they'll be like, how about a drink to celebrate. They'll get you. Yeah, when you win big, they're like, would you like to stay at one of our awesome suites? And then they butter you up, and then and then you fucking burn it all. Yeah. Not yeah. Me. That's how they do it. Are you, staying any, are you staying at our casino? And then you'll be like, actually, no. I'm staying at the Motel 6. And they're like, there's no way. A big winner like you, you need to stay at one of our complimentary suites. Well, it's on the house. And then it's like, you, you know, you won like 30 grand or whatever. And they're like, I'll give you a host. You get this VIP treatment. And they're like, come on, play games, play games. Because they know the longer that. you stay. I'll, say, I'll do that shit. I'll later. do it too, but I'm too cheap. Or or people will people will let the cocktail waitresses know if you're a big winner and like they want tips. So they'll okay. keep coming to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they want to give you drinks or they want your money or, you know, it, like if you're gambling and you just made like $5,000 and a hot girl walks up to you and asks if you want a $15 drink, you're probably going to say, Yes, and then you're gonna oh, get drunk, and it's all over from there. They got a good system. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They haven't met David, so how much is that drink? Fifteen dollars? Fuck no! Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> you're like, that's just a start, bitch. I know better. I know. Nice try. He's like, I pack my own lunch. Exactly. I got a fucking sack lunch and everything. <laughs> I'll massage myself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your oh, shoulders so look tense. Need... Get the fuck off me, man. I got this. I want to get a massage and gamble at the same time. What I like mm -hmm. about Vegas is they try to suck you everywhere. 
They have people that try to suck your dick, suck your monies, and then even the weather try to suck you dry. So they dehydrate <laughs> your ass. Yeah. They just try to suck you fucking, just suck the fuck out of you. Dude, you like, you know what though? We're talking mad shit, but like this is making me want to go to Vegas like for a week. <laughs> like I do kind of miss this it. This is awesome. Anyway, yeah, we're talking about this. Oh yeah. AI that could detect. Oh yeah, the fucking things. racist AI. I would love that shit to be racist. It would be so fucking funny. Like if you see like an Asian person, they just go, dee, 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 gonna compliment you in your face, but give you bad Yelp review. You know, I can totally see when they're programming these AIs in the future. Like they're setting all, they're making all the settings, and they're like racism zero, and they're like ten, <laughs> <laughs> like ten out of a hundred. Just give it, just give them a little, a little bit of bias, a little. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what they do. Like, can they, do they have like a heat sensor and then they know that like this person's like about to steal so they're nervous well, like and then the, they're shaking and yeah, they're- Yeah, it's like the eye movement, yeah. the body. That would be crazy. Oh, so Some people Like how much anxiety. are they sweating? Yeah. And then they do track the item like that they pick up. I think that's what the most is. It's yeah. like the items on their clothes. They're saying that in Japan, they're gonna be installing it to 100,000 stores across Japan in the next three years. Oh, that's soon soon. That's, that's tight. So it's so easy to shoplift in Japan. We'll yeah. say though, how expensive is that and does it actually make up for the deficit of theft? Well, Over time probably. they say that it has reduced, in the stores that they have implemented it, the shoplifting cases were reduced by 75%. Damn. Oh shit. That's, that's huge. That's fucking even like huge. having a little surveillance camera, even if it's not recording, that deters a lot too. That's yeah. true. I would just have a camera that just, it's just loud as fuck and it follows you. So if you're doing like, like yeah. yeah, that would just deter you. It's not recording anything. I wouldn't even want to buy anything though. <laughs> and you just go down. Oh, fuck like this shit. Every I'm time out. you move. Yeah. Uh, that should be tight, dude. <laughs>